Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll guide you on how to prepare for the S Pen Tech Certified S Pen High Seas User Certification Exam. I'll also share tips on registering for the exam and insights on how you succeed. So first, there are many videos uh, which will show you how to register, but I'll quickly discuss some quick tips. So when registering, Use your university or company name as the institution name. After registering, take a screenshot of the registration number and email Aspen Tech Care for confirmation. Without this step, you won't receive a confirmation email. In the confirmation email, they will provide detailed guidance on using the better exams online platform and general rules. Here are some important rules to note. You can use personal notes or materials during the exam, but mobile phones and similar devices are prohibited as a proctor will monitor you throughout. Ensure you are connected to a stable Wi-Fi network, not mobile data, as VPN or network issues can arise. I faced issues when using mobile data, but Wi-Fi solved the problem. 30 minutes before the exam, set up your account and complete the pre-exam formalities. The exam will start exactly on time. Now let's look at the exam format. So the exam consists of two sections. First is the theory section with 40% weightage, 40 short multiple choice questions, MCQs. And the second will be lab task, 60% weightage. It will have 16 MCQs based on simulated task. Passing score is 70 percentage. And I highly recommend the resource EHY101 textbook. It covers all theory and lab workshop content required for the exam. Also, the exam difficulty, I think, ranges from moderate to tough, depending on the preparation. If you are aiming for 80% or higher, it's really challenging. So every chapter in this textbook contains theory in the starting. Important for theory section, most of the questions will, one, will, will be from this section and the Chapter contains lab task also, which you can use for simulation purposes. Next, for the lab task section, uh, let's dive into this section, which carries the maximum weightage and is quicker to finish. I'll recommend first to finish this task and then go for theory section because this contains maximum weightage. And other thing is it is quicker to finish than compared to the theoretical section. So key tips for lab tasks are you will be asked to simulate a process operation using equipment like separator vessel, compressor, control valve, pump, heat exchanger in both simple design and EDR, distillation column and pipe segment. You will be given all process conditions such as composition, flow rate and temperature. You should know how to input parameters like pressure drop across control valves, tube side, shell side delta P in heat exchangers and constraints like minimum approach temperature, LMTD, etc. Next, converge the process simulation before answering questions. Example tasks will be like determining heat duties for a condenser and reboiler, calculating LMTD for heat exchangers, using compressor curves to determine efficiency, performing sensitivity analysis such as analyzing changes in heat duty with varying process conditions such as composition of products, etc. Example question will be like what will be the LMTD if you change the simple heat exchanger model to EDR model? For the same, you should know how to provide specifications in EDR model. All the questions will be MCQs. Choose one answer out of all the questions. And the good news is Aspen Tech provides online access to the HiSys software, so you don't need it installed on your PC. Okay, so these are the lab tasks that they will give you to perform. Next is related to the theory section. Key topics to study in these are properties, packages, types, and sources, volumetric flow rate types. Uh, you should know how to perform stream analysis, example, hydrate formation, dew point temperature. And you should also be able to name the sections of user interface. Then there are uh, certain questions related to heat exchanger models, such as which models suit specific conditions, stream analysis, heat exchanger, simple models, which model will be used for no phase change, which models uses constant U value and all 
thus uh, and all such type of questions will be there then there will be question on whether you need to use adjust or recycle operation you should know when to use them so there will be multiple mcqs right and uh, although all those mcqs will carry only one mark but they will just check your basic knowledge your concept whether it is clear or not they will give you example whether and they will ask you whether it should be recycle or adjust operation you should know the different types of mathematical or logical operations and how to use them you you can also be asked how to minimize recycle streams right then uh, related to consistency error identification they will give you a screenshot and they will ask you to analyze error and uh, they will ask you basically which type of error is it right you should know the types of error and uh, how to solve them then uh, uh, there will be questions on reporting options how many reporting options are there how many petroleum asset types are there and uh, related to pipe flow corrections correlations right pipe flow correlations questions will be there then um, there will be question on degree of freedom calculations based on given operating conditions for example they will give you a distillation column and they will tell that this data is available so how many degree of freedom is there right certain questions can also be based on basic chemical engineering concepts this may also appear pro tip here is use the help section if you need guidance while answering theory questions okay and another best thing is go through the ehy101 material they have all the theories in chapters and you should go through all the chapters read them thoroughly and use them use the knowledge you gain from them to solve the theory section so to summarize pro tips for success uh i'd like to share is register carefully and follow the tips i shared prepare thoroughly with the with the ehy101 textbook and practice simulations focus on both lab task and theory sections while with special attention to simulation task and uh, utilize the help section during the exam if needed and familiarize yourself with sensitivity and stream analysis options i hope this video helps you feel confident and well prepared for the exam and uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you